Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6. We've got a few things to go through, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I want to say, whilst we're covering Supergirl and Supergirl is coming back, we are also going to be covering the Supergirl film that is coming out, so if you want your Supergirl content, please be sure to turn on notifications and don't miss any videos. And also we're going to be covering Superman Lois, which we're briefly going to talk about in today's video because there was a statement to do with Supergirl crossing over and them kind of linking up. So yeah, if you don't want to miss any Supergirl related videos, which include Superman Lois because it is a spin-off off of Supergirl after all, please be sure to stay active on the channel. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this interview. So this is Jeremy Jordan who plays Windshot. He returned last season, but he obviously left the show as a series regular quite a while ago, and he did come back for three episodes last season. Along with his return, we got the return of Chris Wood as well as mon -El. so there are a few opportunities this year that some of these cast members from the past may be coming back. And so in this interview, Jeremy Jordan talks about his new film, but we're going to be talking specifically about the segment where he briefly mentioned Supergirl. So this comes from ET Online, I'll leave the link in the description below to the article if you want to go read it, check out what Jeremy's doing right now. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the question is this, switching gears to Supergirl, since it is wrapping up, have you had any conversations about possibly coming back one last time? And he says, yeah, you know, I'm certainly open to it. I haven't had any talks as of yet, and I know it's a little bit difficult because they film in Canada and the travel restriction there is a little bit involved, we'll say. But at the moment, no, I don't think Wynn's returning for the final season, although if the opportunity arose, I'm sure I wouldn't hesitate to go out and hang out with my friends one last time. So what he's saying here, what can we take away from it? So we know there are a lot of restrictions about coming from America to Canada, because obviously that is where Supergirl films, they film in Vancouver, they've done this since season two came to the CW. And obviously he's great friends with the cast and crew. And as he says in this interview, he wants to come back and he would totally come back if the opportunity arose. And also I think the showrunners and everyone behind Supergirl wants him to return. However, they haven't had any conversations or talks about it as of yet. And obviously there's the chance that he's not telling the truth because there has been many times when actors have had to do that to hide up the contracts. But I think the main factor as to if they haven't actually talked, which we're going to presume they haven't talked, is mainly due to the pandemic and them not being able to get him to guest star. Because if they want Wim back and if they want Jeremy to come back, they're going to have to offer him more than just a guest spot, like more than just one episode. Because right now with the restrictions, that would mean he would have to quarantine go into Vancouver and then quarantine going back. So it would be pretty much useless for him to go up unless he was desperate to go in and film one last episode for Supergirl before it ends. Because really, he's only going to be there for like, what, shooting for like a week or two, and then he has to go right back home and quarantine again. So it's not really worth it unless you can give any actor, or Jeremy in this case, a bigger role. And so it would have to be more than that, unless you are someone like Chris Wood, who is currently in Vancouver, he could totally come in for like one episode or something like that. So it's not really the problem of getting them onto the set, because it's fine if it's just one person who gets tested, is brought in. The bigger problem is crossing over, crossing over whole crews, because that's so many people in a bubble that is very secure at the moment. But then if you're like Jeremy and you're just like at home with your family and that's it, and then you come in to shoot Supergirl, that's totally fine, they can do that, and that's why you've seen like John Wesley Ship showing up on Stargirl, he's actually filming that right now, so that's going to be a Flash Stargirl crossover happening. And also, same applies to David Ramsey, who is directing loads of the shows, and he's also going to be starring in them as John Diggle once again. And the reason he can do that is because he's just one person, he's not crossing over with a whole crew. Like, if he was still on Arrow, and they wanted Arrow to cross over with like Supergirl or something, that would be a big deal because they couldn't do that at the moment. So hopefully you guys understand the restrictions and it's more about him being in America right now because if he was in Canada, he could have totally come and shot some stuff. So as of right now, we know it's not happening. However, there is still a chance because as he says, if the opportunity arose, he says he wouldn't hesitate to go out and film. 
So I think that is the best thing to take away from that. It's really exciting that he's totally down and he would love to come back. And he literally says he's certainly open to coming back, which is a literal invitation to say, yes, I want to come back. People who are running Supergirl, listen to me. I want to come back. Give me a role that's like three episodes long at least. And then if both parties agree, they can do it. And that's totally viable. And so they went on and they talked about what he will miss most about the show. He says, I've been away for a couple of years now and just the people, honestly. I made some of my best friends on that show and I fell in love with the character of Wynn. And it was something that I really got to create and stick with for the longest I've ever stuck with a character. So when I got to come back for season 5 for a few episodes, it was really lovely and really liberating. Unfortunately, I left the show because I wanted to come back home and start a family, which is what we did. And so I don't regret it for a second, but I think back fondly upon that. So, you know, it's just a good statement and I thought I would read it to you guys because he does miss his time, but he doesn't regret it and that's totally reasonable and I think he would love to come back and I totally would so let me know down in the comments down below what do you guys think of this would you love to see Wynn come back if restrictions ease and if they offered him a kind of bigger role I would guess than one episode so it could happen we'll have to wait and see but let's move on to the next thing so obviously you have Superman Lois coming out which is a spin-off off of Supergirl we're going to be making Superman Lois videos as I mentioned at the start of this video every single week we're going to be reviewing it we're going to be breaking it down and it all is down to you guys because if you respond to the videos if you watch the videos and we get good feedback and we have lots of people tuning into those weekly or daily videos it all depends on you know who's watching it we're going to be covering the show a lot so i really hope to do that and i hope when supergirl goes away obviously we've got the supergirl film to still cover but i hope we can make superman and lois like a regular thing on the channel and so let's move on to the next thing and this is Todd Helbing so he's the new showrunner of Superman Lois obviously he show ran the flash for a few seasons a couple of years back and so he talks about what's going on in regards to Supergirl so he says in this interview well not him but you know he's about to talk in a minute this is the article writer speaking speaking of the rest of the Arrowverse there was a moment during development when Helbing wondered if he was pushing Superman and Lois too far away from the franchise especially Supergirl which is ending later this year and has already mined a lot from the Superman mythos. And Todd goes on to say, Obviously working in this universe for as long as I did, I wanted to feel like we were part of the whole, but we were making these choices that were very different than a lot of the other shows, he says. After I talked to the Supergirl showrunners, Robert Rovner and Jessica Quella, they sort of released me from my fears. They were like, look, Todd, you're more worried about this than you should be because Supergirl has existed for seven seasons and they got that wrong in the article it's actually six seasons and superman is off doing its own thing he has his own adventures doesn't worry us that they can simultaneously exist at all so now i wanted to bring this up because i beg to differ i think it's annoying that superman lois is going to be retconning like a bunch of things like they have a new version of morgan edge a new version of lex luthor they retcon stuff from crisis with the kids like obviously i'm looking forward to superman lois and i really can't wait for it actually tomorrow night when it premieres however i have to say as an arrowverse fan it's a little bit worrying because these shows are so interconnected and that has been such a great thing over the years and it's been really successful the fact that they're coming in and being like yes we're gonna make all these changes we're gonna ignore what happened on Supergirl and what is currently happening on Supergirl I don't think that's a good way to go because the Arrowverse is supposed to be like this big kind of shared universe and if you start ignoring stuff you're gonna come up with some big problems when you try and cross over these worlds and obviously we have a crossover coming up on Superman Lois where David Ramsey's showing up as John Diggle so they're not completely neglecting the other part of the Arrowverse but I have to say I think it would have been better if they didn't do this because Supergirl has existed for you know, six seasons, it's been around for a long while, the whole Arrowverse has been around longer than that, and so you have this mythos, and if you ignore it, I guess it's fine if you blame it on Crisis. Like, I don't have a problem with them explaining it using Crisis, but if they completely ignore it, it's gonna start annoying fans, and I think it's gonna annoy me as well, and so this is just me personally talking, I'm not analyzing this or breaking it down, I'm just saying personally, I think one of the best things about the Arrowverse is that it runs simultaneously and that they are aware of what's happening on the other shows 
And so with the Supergirl showrunners being like, yeah, you can do whatever you want, it worries me. And maybe that's just my little bit of a prejudice against Supergirl showrunners because I think they should have been gone a long time ago, that being Robert Rovner and Jessica Queller, because, I mean, I've seen them in real life, I've interviewed them in real life, actually, and they just seem a bit lost, and I feel like they could have done with a switch up a while ago. However, I love Supergirl, so I'm not gonna, you know, talk badly upon them, but still, I don't know if I agree with this. Anyway, so that is my little bit of a rant out of the way to do with Todd Helbing and the Supergirl showrunners agreeing that it's fine to basically ignore the Arrowverse and kind of start again, which is fine, but yeah, let me know your comments in the comments down below. Okay, so let's move on to the last few things. I have a bunch of cool photos to show you guys. And in this first photo, this comes from Julie Gonzalez, who is actually on the set of Supergirl. Obviously, she's been filming recently. We saw her in a behind the scenes video with Daz and Melissa, where they were either in Obsidian or Catco but basically they were filming a scene together, so she is back this season. We weren't 100% sure how much of a role she's gonna play because basically her Obsidian storyline was finished last season. So she's gonna be sticking around and I think that's good because I do like her and I like Andrea Rojas and you know, this was the big kind of shocking thing for me because she is gonna be sticking around and she's gonna be wearing her superhero costume or like her kind of anti-hero costume, but She's more of a superhero now, she's on the good side, and yeah, she's going to be suited up as you can see on the screen right here. We have her suited up in a costume, obviously making a joke out of wearing a mask and then having another mask. Obviously, like, tons of the actors have done that, and it's pretty funny, but the big thing to take away from this is Andrea is going to have her superhero powers this season, and she's also going to be suited up at some point, so she might join Team Supergirl, that is definitely an option. Although, in some of the behind the scenes photos, we haven't really seen her with Team Supergirl in the Fortress. It's mainly been our core team members. However, I think there is a chance that she may become like a fully fledged superhero this season. And so we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, I thought I would include that in this video. Also, they released this cool photo of Kyla from last season. So this is a behind the scenes photo with her stunt double when Kyla was Supergirl for an episode. And I thought I would just include it because I think it's very cool and it shows a behind the scenes look at what happened. And obviously this was during the Alex in Wonderland episode back in season five where we saw her suit up and you know, she had this cool black and blue suit and it was like a whole big event. And so I just thought I would bring it up because I really like this suit and it's just a cool photo. Anyway, moving on to the last thing. So I want to talk about this. So Superman Lois, premieres tomorrow night. We're going to be reviewing it straight away after the episode airs, so please be sure to stay up if you're from the UK, if you're from Europe, or anywhere around the world that is not America. Obviously, if you're in America, stay up in the evening and wait until you've watched Superman Lois on the CW Tuesday, 8, 7 central, so that's tomorrow night, and we're going to be doing my review straight away after that, so you're not going to want to miss that out. But what I want to talk about in this video before we end it is that in the first part of the episode you're going to have this kind of documentary feature <clears throat> and so in this feature you're going to be having this kind of big crossover where you'll see lots of different people from the shows and they're going to be talking about Superman Lois, why they're excited for Superman Lois and so you'll see them encouraging viewers to watch episodes of Superman Lois and then talking about their own shows in relation to that and so you've seen them posting a bunch of behind the scenes stuff where they do interviews with Tyler Hoechlin, Bitsy Tullock, and all of the cast members of Superman Lois. And so I think it's exciting that they are including this and they're kind of incorporating the whole of the Arrowverse. And again, I think this is one part that is a little bit ironic because they are actively ignoring some of the stuff that the Arrowverse has set up and then they're doing this kind of promotional thing at the start of the first hour because it is a two hour premiere event tomorrow night and in that first hour you have these interviews. So you have people like Nicole Maines showing up from Supergirl, so that's some crossover there. You've got Javicia Leslie. I'm not sure if Melissa Benoist is going to show up considering that she wasn't around when they were filming this. You have Stargirl showing up, you have Grant Gustin, obviously Barry Allen, The Flash, he's going to be in this. In the promo, he actually mentions that he's super excited to see them show up because Grant's favorite superhero is Superman, 
and obviously they work together on crossovers like Superman and Lois have been in the past two crossovers so obviously there's a lot of crossover there and he's really excited because Superman is his favorite hero after all and so hopefully you guys are really excited I'm looking forward to Superman and Lois tomorrow even though I have my couple of gripes that I've talked about in today's video I'm still really excited because I'm a big Superman fan and I can't wait for a new DC TV show to air. So hopefully you guys stick around for my coverage tomorrow night and heading into the rest of the season. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.